This is where we meet the viral under the blood pasta. Pastor Gregory Mitchell, who uses dance hall to spread his gospel. Jesus, you recover me. Right now, right here on our stage, Pastor Mitchell. Pastor Mitchell, sir. Bless you. Welcome, God. sir. Welcome. Thanks for gracing Thank our stage. It's a blessing being here. Okay, so this <laughs> is visiting for you or coming home? I am living here, but you know, travel evangelist. Oh, so, so you're spending a lot of time in, up north in yes. the US? US, Canada, other parts of the Caribbean islands. And, oh, um, so you're constantly on the move? Constantly on the move. <laughs> oh. But um, you know, Jamaica is home. Yes. Yes. So speak quickly about your ministry. Ministry is, um, it's, uh, let's say it's massive um, on the international side, locally, internationally, because um, we have to be busy, or I have to be busy. Um, here, there, wherever the calls are. Yes. We have to just be active. Sometimes you get one invitation for one place, but when others heard that I'm around or see clips and other things, you know, the call say, can you see us Sunday? Sometimes four churches for one day or three oh, churches. Okay, so you, Especially wherever you're called, you're ready to go. Ready to go. I'm on the move. I was born on the road, so I'm ready for the road. Yes. <laughs> Go to that. Where were you born? Clarendon in a community called... I was born in Reaches, but I grew up in Belcaris. Yes. So I was born on the road in Reaches, um, going down that hill, you know. Belcaris is not mentioned on the map at all. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, only those who are familiar with that area, Upper Clarendon. And raised as well? You... Yes. The struggle was intense. Mm -hmm. So I just packed my bag one day at Fort Farm in high school and decided to just leave home and go search for greatness, search for success, mm -hmm. search for means to offer some help mm -hmm. to my parents. Um, but I thought it would have been better at the beginning, but it plunged deeper and, and things get worse. It, so you left with nothing? I left with search oh, of nothing. a better life? Yes. Not knowing where I was going. Don't even either. know where you're going. But I decided that, hey, <laughs> something is out there and I got to find it. So you were sleeping in the street? I got a living job from a prominent lawyer that same very day. So you didn't have to do a night in the street? In the street. Because <laughs> um, smart you. enough, I yeah. saw um, a gentleman in a car sitting down smoking a cigarette in the town of Mandeville. Yes. So I went to him, uh, the, the per, like a voice in my head say, see that man sitting in the car, go to him and tell him the ordeals and what, what you're up to. So I walked to him and I approached him as a decent young man with some intelligence, you know, and I said, good afternoon, sir. Um, my name is so-and-so, I'm from so-and-so. I'm seeking a job because my parents are old and unable to facilitate the needs of, of 10 children. So I'm, I'm searching for a job. And he said, okay, um, where you say you're from again? And I told him, he said, all right, wait right here. There's a lady coming out of that courthouse. When she come down here, tell her exactly what you just told me. Mm -hmm. Then by the time I was there, I saw the lady coming down, puffing her cigarette, full of jewels, black robe coming out of the courthouse, and she came to the car. She was like a fright. Now this young man stand up at the car, doing what? I said, good afternoon, ma'am. How are you doing today? My name is so-and-so. I'm from such and such place, and I'm searching for a job. She said, get in the car. So I was going in the back seat, because you know I thought the front seat was hers. Didn't have no idea about being chauffeur driven. She said, no, go to the front seat. I was like, what is this mm. in my life? <laughs> so I just sit in the front seat, journey down the hill, go down the road. She took me to her house. Give me a job. And give me a job. My job was feeding birds, cooking dog food, cutting the lawn, and taking care of matters around the house. OK, for how long? From February 94 to 95. Mm -hmm. um, uh, during the time when Garnet Silk passed away, because that was okay. my good friend. So you had been living in Mandeville? Yes, ever since. Ever since? Until now, I just, I just venture now into oh, my, my, my own, in, in, in say Manchester, but closer, and the, the Clarendon side. So when did you find Christ? So I found so. Christ in 1999, the 31st of May. Mm -hmm. That's 1999. Yes. Um, there was a tent revival. As a matter of fact, I left home to go buy two sticks of weed, you know, because um, the Chillum Pipe was my friend, you know, was so indoctrinated with the Rastafarian tradition and culture. So 
I just love the marijuana. So I didn't have none because we planted it and none wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. I was tired of parching green weed because when you parch it, nothing come out of it. The, the substance dries up. So I went to get two substance, mm -hmm. feed the brain before I go sleep all I meds. And um, you know, I walk past the church because you know church, a Babylon system. I don't believe in no church thing. Mm -hmm. Fire upon them church and them Christian people. Poor Paul system. So I lost one stick of the weed, mm -hmm. turning back to find the stick that was lost without a hole in the pocket. I stood there at 27 Caledonia Road where Bishop V.T. Williams was preaching under the tent. Um, so it's like something, like a person held me hostage and I just couldn't move at all. So I stood there and I felt as if I was manhandled by this person holding me there, forcing me to listen to what is happening under the tent. So I, I stood there, then I felt the hand removed from off me. And um, I was about to move, but then the hand just pushed me across the road under the tent. It was like a mystical mystery. I couldn't explain. But then I held on to the so temple. It, that was not physical. It was, it was physical, but Someone I could Someone was there who actually did that to you? No one was there. Yeah, but, but so it's... It, 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 it was like an encounter that I... Yes, I'm, trying I'm to saying say, it's not a physical push. Yeah, it was... You a, feel, I felt the push. You felt a push? Yes. A but, physical, actual push? Yes. But no one was there? No one was there. So it was a divine It was a divine push? encounter. Indeed, I, I conclude that it was. And um, I stood there at the tent pole, then everything went normal. So I let go. Rasta man, no, you know no church things. So oh, you went back to yourself. So I came back to myself <laughs> and said, <laughs> okay. So then I, I, I just felt the, the hand just push me right to the altar in yes. front of the preacher, Bishop V.T. Williams. So. A sister turned and said, move the dirty head rasta boy from the altar and come for rub where we bless him. Mm. But I, I was very aggressive, you know. So I look around on her with a ugly look. In time, salvation was nowhere close. So, you know, the look was kind of crazy. So I looked at her and I said, I want to do that woman, you man, sure. <laughs> and, you know, mm. but then I saw some, some ministers and deacons like ushers coming to remove me from the altar. Because of your Rastafarian look? Because of how I look. So you were wearing dreadlocks? Yes. <laughs> okay. So the looks was not appealing to Christianity. So they, you are a dreadlock. Yeah. You're wearing dreadlocks. You're in the church. Yes. You forward yourself and, and, yes. and you were open to whatever was going on. Whatever was going on. because And I they were throwing you <laughs> <laughs> Because of the approach, you know. They were throwing you out? They really? Were, they wanted to remove me. She didn't say throw him out. Okay. She said remove him from in front of us because he come to distract us. So everybody was rushing out to move me because the preacher is preaching. Yes. And they don't want me to distract the preaching of the preacher. So Bishop VT just said, leave him. He's a preacher. Just like that. And he made the altar call instantly. And those who, in the midst of his preaching, he just stopped and made an altar call and prayed over me. And, and that became, the, that's the beginning that's of That's the beginning your... of the greatness that I your... experienced up to today. Okay, so and you, you no transformed regrets. right there and there? I transformed instantaneously. There was no itches. I was living with my girlfriend. And I went home. The transformation that took place, I could not touch. I cleaned out my room of every reason, like buckets of weed, everything that was happening. I have, it was 1994 when Lisa Hanna become um, Miss World. Miss World yeah. So I, I took out all of her pictures out of the, 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 the glean at the middle page and paste them in my room. So everywhere you look, <laughs> pure girls are on the room. What did you say to your Rastafarian red drinks and they, they were like, They were like, <laughs> yeah. they, they were like really heavy because um, they thought that I was a Boaz. They say, oh, you're not real Rasta, man. You're a Boaz, man. You, you, you drop the, 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 the mantle and you move sideways. At what point did he become now? The pastor. At, at the pastor that you um, Of September, at, the, at that same year, 1999, mm -hmm. Pastor Walker gave me a Sunday night to, to share. But you know, as a Rasta man, we always read up the Psalms. I used to smoke the Psalms. Yes. Yes, so um, I, I was packed up with Psalms. So I preached Psalms 23 from experience, 
from a know-how of the text, and they thought that I was doing well. Then I started going to Sunday school, grew up rapidly in all ranks of the church, and then start going to Bible school. Mm -hmm. After start doing my theological training, graduated with a diploma in theology. But is not that what made me the minister. I thought mm -hmm. I was called as a minister by God himself. It's not, it's not the is story. Is a call from me. God? It's a direct divine call. And I, I, I believe it. Mm -hmm. And so I begin to walk in that. And everything in my life turn around for the better. When did you embrace dance hall now and started to use I it was, as a vehicle? I was in dance hall, you know. Even I, all, all of that time? Before I, I got converted. Yes, but I, did you continue to embrace dance hall? Why, I continued to embrace the, the, the whole music because I was inspired. Um, I, I know every one of Sisla Kolonji songs. Okay. I know even with the first time he come to Rebel Salute in Mandeville, I would miss that for nothing because Sizzler was my artist. And um, then I began to listen to other artists, then Luciano and, and Garnis had become my friend, as I said. But um, we are always going out. And then after everything now, we start going into the market mm -hmm. at a sound system with a guy called Wayne Shanklin out of Clarendon and Sing. Um, Something say precious, Jesus, want you to bless us, although we know the devil always attests us. Precious, Jesus, want you to bless us, cause now you may put me trust. All right, and, and, and it so, just begin so, to roll. So dance always there from that as early as that? Yeah, it, was in, it was there from, the school, style, the, the, from school days. I asked the Lord to keep me with two yeah. things. I asked him to keep me because I was very rude. I was bad, man. I was cruel. Saved me, but keep me with this, this rhythm that is giving me the groove mm -hmm. that I need. You know, it's like an inspiration. So there okay. is a piece that went viral. There is a piece that went viral. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at that right now in the back screen. Under the blood. Under the blood. Under the blood. Under the blood. Jesus cover me. Under the blood. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that, Man. so that, what did that do for you in terms of your congregation? Did it move it? Grow it? What? That, that, Presently, that, it, it grows internationally, locally, and every, every alley. Because yeah. um, presently, I'm not in the pastoring over congregation. Because yeah. I move from the pastoral into evangelism. Okay. So it gives me a better advantage to you know, travel evangelists. Yes. So um, I am not presiding over a congregation right now, but I notice on the, the comments mm. on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, wherever the song is, um, persons who want to come to the church. So I think many persons go to that church, people calling me like crazy all over the globe. Yes. Because of this song. This song. This piece. This piece. So, so what do you say to those uh, who are... Are, are in sin, living in sin. Yeah. Who you would like to win over to, to, to Christ. How what do you I go about him. that? Are you s let them just listen to this. And even the uh, fellow artists who are secular. Yeah. This is, this is um, it's nothing new to, to the, the, those who are outside of Christ because um, the call is there. Many of them, they are coming out of the churches. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they have the idea what it means to come back home to Christ. But I would say to those who are, are searching for hope, searching for um, a place to find peace and that signs of, of restoration and regeneration, reconciliation, I would say to them, turn to Christ. Um, mm -hmm. Respond to the call. And if you do so, I think the police will have an easier job. Our nation with the crime and violence would be at a better stand. So our government will have more time to make other decisions instead of focusing on fighting crime, running after gangsters and the government. So I think this even reaching people who, the gangsters, mm -hmm. even if a man find himself being a murderer, I think he is using his little New Testament and say, under the blood, but still have the gun. But we are saying to them today, repent and be converted, every mm -hmm. one of you, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And according to the scriptures, Jesus say, come unto me, all ye that are labored and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What's the role of the music? What impact? What, how would you measure the impact of the music yeah. on what you have achieved as a pastor? I would measure it because of, in the mood of evangelism, 
the music reach places where we where I haven't I haven't gone as yet. Yes. So I think it is a key to unlock every impossibilities, okay. doors that are locked. Here comes the rhythm, the bass line driving through that part of your life yes. that need to be reactivated. Uh -huh. So you found your calling, sir. Yes. I've discovered. <laughs> and, and, and you're living in paradise, yes. in your own paradise. I'm walking in my purpose. Walking in your purpose. That's why they call me purpose wheel. Uh, <laughs> so, Master, sir. Bless you. Um, you're going to touch a little performance for us, aren't you? Definitely. Yes, so we're going, to, we're going to thank you for coming and sharing your story mm -hmm. with us. We wish we had more time to... To, to speak to you because it's so interesting and exciting. And the track and will, will be dropping soon. This track that the, we're about to do. Through the recording. Okay. The track will be dropping so very we, soon. We're going to clear the stage and give you a chance to give us a piece of the record. Not okay, a problem. Right. <laughs> and on the blood, me send me under the blood. And the blood, me send me under the blood. Jesus cover me under the blood. And on the blood, me send me under the blood. Under the blood. Under the blood, Jesus cover me under the blood. In the morning when me wake up, in the morning when me wake up, and the blood that Jesus me take up, when me feel like me heart break up, put the blood for me face as like a makeup. In the morning when me wake up, and the blood that Jesus me take up, and when me feel like me heart break up, put the blood for me face as like a makeup. Under the blood, under the blood, under the blood, under the blood. Say Jesus cover me. Under the blood again. Under the blood, under the blood. The physical man can't fight no demon. Fasting and prayer for build up the inner one. Well anointed convert the sinner man. Bind demon, rip up Satan. How you pollute the land with pure corruption? How I fear time this a revelation. And Father God do give me salvation Fill me with the Holy Ghost He is an inspiration Say, Under the blood Under the blood Under the blood Under the blood Jesus cover me Under the blood Under the blood Under the blood Under the blood Under the blood, under the blood. Say Jesus cover me Under the blood Christian to fight some things with them not see Strong old demons and principality Remember the years of temple? Keep it holy, sanctify, justify, give God the glory Fighting against sweet, terrible enemy The world see it and myself against me Me want the anointing, pour it on me You make me trample the devil cause he my the enemy And on the blood, me send me and on the blood And on the blood, me send me and on the blood under the blood, under the blood, Jesus cover me. Under the blood again. In the morning when me wake up, and the blood that Jesus me take up. How when me feel like me heart break up, me put the blood on me face just like a makeup. Yeah. In the morning when you wake up, and the blood that Jesus you take up. How when you feel like your heart break up, put the blood on your blood, on your blood, on your face. And the blood will send me under the blood, under the blood, under the blood. Cover wind for the Lord, under the blood again. Under the blood, cover wind for the under the blood. Under the blood, wind for the under the blood. Jesus cover you, under the blood. Christian to fight some things so them not see. Strong old demons and principality. We body is a temple. Keep it holy, sanctify, justify, give God the glory. Fighting against three terrible enemy. The world see it and myself against me. When the anointing for it and me, you make me trample the devil cause him are the enemy. Ah. Bless God. Be Bless you, master. Come. Bless you, man. Thank you, boss. So, Bless you. So, those watching, wanting to consume your music, where can they find you? Well, this track that is presently viral is out there. But um, the original Purpose Week track will be dropping soon, soon, soon. The uh, studio version, because this is church um, recording. So um, the original Purpose Wheel Under the Blood track will be out very soon. Very soon. Bless you, Master. Big up. You um, know what I mean? Friends, family, big up original King Arthur, Chris yeah. Class, Prince yes, Malikai, LRJ, uh, my good, good friend and keyboard player, brother Jaffet, my family, everybody, all the artists mm -hmm. over the world. And those who are prospectives, we look forward for greatness I from know. them. Let's take the world for Jesus. Ah, boss. Okay. Right you. here on stage. 
Thank All the very best. Left. Thank you for blessing. sharing, sir. It's a blessing being here. Thank and, you for having me. And stay under the blood, sir. <laughs> for 2024, everybody, under the blood. All right, sir. That's the growth.